PeopleSoft delivers the onboarding feature using the Activity Guide Composer functionality. New employees can access the onboarding activity guide to complete predefined steps and pages that will streamline the hire process and ensure a successful transition into the organization. The onboarding dashboard is a delivered dashboard. Here you can add tiles that may be important during the onboarding process. The onboarding activity tile on this dashboard is an active tile that changes based on where the employee is in the activity guide process. The first time the employee enters the page, the tile will display the words Get Started. Upon returning to the dashboard, the activity guide will update the tile to display how many steps are left to complete and whether or not any steps are overdue for completion. Activity guide steps appear in the left panel of the page. The steps that appear in the left panel navigation will also display the status of the step. Activity guide steps may vary and are based on the template you assign to an employee. The PeopleSoft application delivers several onboarding templates, but organizations may create and assign their own templates. Templates can vary by individual so as to meet the needs of workers in different locations, jobs, or circumstances. PeopleSoft onboarding also delivers the ability for you to embed video steps and transcripts into the activity guide process, as well as the ability to view, download, and attach documents. Administrators define documents that may be needed by the employee. These documents can be defined as needing no action, requiring an acknowledgement, or requiring the worker to upload additional information. Uploads can also be performed on the attachment step of the activity guide. This is useful when requesting a copy of a driver's license or other job-related documentation. Activity guide templates can also consist of group steps. Group steps have a right-facing arrow that you select to expand, which displays the sub-steps that are part of the group. In this example, the Personal Details group is made up of various sub-steps that enable the employee to verify or enter different kinds of personal information. The last step of the onboarding process is a summary step. The summary page provides an employee with a consolidated view of the steps found within the activity guide. An employee can see the status of a step with its completion date, identify which steps are required and when, enables the employee to mark a step complete, and also provides the opportunity to go back to any given step should the person need to make any final changes. When all required steps are completed, the employee can click the Complete button at the top of the page, signifying the completion of the onboarding process. This completes our demonstration of the Employee Onboarding feature. PeopleSoft Employee Snapshot now includes a career planning dashboard with supporting tiles to assist managers in planning career advancements for their employees. A career plan helps you identify your workers' skills and interests to aid in determining what career best suits their talents. Existing dashboards also contain new tiles to enable managers to review the skills and training an employee has for a chosen career. The summary dashboard now includes the job interests, education, and career plan summary tiles. In addition to functionality to manage career plans for your workers, the Compensation Review Dashboard enables you to view a history of bonus amounts received by the employee over the past several years. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Employee Snapshot for HR feature. With PeopleSoft HCM Image 23, your organization can now create manage, and view dotted line relationships. Dotted line relationships are one-to-one -one relationships between two individuals where one individual reports to another outside of a direct line reporting relationship. When granted access, a person can manage dotted line relationships for his or her employees. Note that when a person does not have dotted line relationships and you are not granted the role to manage this information, this page will not be available. When granted access, use this page to view relationships or to add or delete reporting or manager dotted line relationships. When you add a relationship, you will use the person selector page to search for the person that should be either the dotted line report or a dotted line manager to this person. Select the person from the search results to add or request the relationship. When approvals are required to add a relationship, instead of the person being automatically added to the page, 
the request is routed to the person's manager for approval. That manager would then use the pending approvals page to accept or deny the dotted line request. When you have submitted a request that is still pending approval, the Manage Dotted Line page of your profile will display the request in the My Request Pending Approval section at the bottom of the page. When a request has been approved, you can use the company directory pages to view the representation of the reporting line. The Reporting Structure page shows not only the direct line reporting structure, but dotted line manager relationships, if any, represented within a dotted line box. When an individual has dotted line reports, the Directs page will also show those employees in a dotted line report section of the page. Dotted line relationships are also viewable on the organizational chart. Dotted line relationships are symbolized in the organization chart with a dotted line box around the card. Dotted line managers will appear in the top row, while dotted line reports, if any, will appear in the bottom row. HR administrators are also given the ability to manage dotted line relationships using the HR Administration Manage Dotted Line page. Administrators can delete relationships they have created or add new ones by identifying the reporting and managing persons that should have a dotted line relationship. This completes our demonstration of the dotted line reporting for HR feature. PeopleSoft HCM now supports administrator configured component lockdown. Components can be locked down on demand or during a specified time period. Certain payroll for North America components can additionally be locked down during pay calculation and pay confirmation processing. Users who attempt to access a component while it's locked down see a configurable message explaining that they cannot make updates. When the user continues, the component appears in read only mode. 20 components in PeopleSoft Payroll for North America and 4 components in PeopleSoft ePay are delivered with lockdown capability. A red paper on My Oracle support, titled Payroll for North America Implementing the Component Lockdown Feature, explains how to enable lockdown for additional components with a simple people code customization. Let's look at the configuration pages for component lockdown. The Component Lockdown Table page shows which components are enabled for lockdown for a particular PeopleSoft product. If you add lockdown people code to an additional component, click the Load Refresh Components button to see all components in the product. Then select the Enabled for Lockdown checkbox for the component where you added lockdown people code. The checkbox is already selected and disabled for components where Oracle delivers the lockdown people code. The Read Only Eligible for Payroll Lockdown checkbox identifies components that support the Payroll Only option for lockdown during pay calculation confirmation processes. The system selects this checkbox based on the component's data structure. Use the Component Group page to group components that will have the same lockdown rules. Only lockdown enabled components can be added to these groups. If all components in the group are eligible for payroll lockdown, then the lockdown options for the group include the ability to lock down components during pay calculation and confirmation processes. To set up lockdown rules for a component group, use the Group Access Definitions page. When you create a rule, you must choose a lockdown type of payroll if you want the ability to lock down components during pay calculation and confirmation. For payroll lockdown, you additionally specify the company and pay group whose payee's data will be locked out and you select a component group ID that includes only payroll eligible components. Use the Disable During Payroll Run field to specify if components are locked down during pay calculation, pay confirmation, both, or neither. Choose a lockout message to present to users. You can use the message catalog or type in your own text. Use the Access options for additional lockdown rules. Disable Fully disables all components in the group until you change the access option back to Enable. Disable Temporarily enables the Disabled Periods group box so you can enter start and stop times for the lockdown. If the lockdown type is General, you can set up lockdown for any component group. General lockdown settings are based on the user's role rather than on company and pay group. The option to lock down components during pay calculation and confirmation is not available for general lockdown types. 
This completes our discussion of the Payroll for North America Component Lockdown feature. The Fluid Total Reward Statement communicates all of the compensation that an employee receives from your organization. From the statement, information is organized by reward section on the left panel and is displayed in graphical and tabular formats when a reward section is selected. In this image, new columns are introduced in section grids. These columns display additional contribution calculations for each reward item, such as the total employer contribution, total employer and employee contribution, and percentage of the item's total amount over the total value of the statement. A widget is also available to show the employer's total contribution in relation to the employee's contribution. These columns can be enabled easily on the statement template. To display a column in a section grid, select the Include option of that column and save the change. Another enhancement that is added to this image is the ability to preview the Fluid Total Rewards statement while you are working on the template. The preview capability already exists for the classic version of the statement and is now extended to the Fluid version as well. When you save a new or updated template, you can click the link to preview the Fluid statement that's created based on the template setup. The preview statement appears on a separate browser window or tab. It is constructed entirely based on the configuration of the template, with hard-coded reward amounts. As you preview the statement, you can verify if the current template is set up properly and make changes as needed. This completes our discussion of the new configuration options for the Fluid Total Rewards Additional Columns feature. For global payroll role packages that have been imported and compared, you can click the new View Element Browser Compare button to view the updated elements in the Element Browser. The Element Browser page opens in a new tab, displaying all the elements updated by the rule package in the left pane. Select an element of the rule package to see how it changed. New and changed items for elements are indicated with a blue dot. Deleted items for elements are indicated with a red dot. The Compare functionality of the Element Browser page isn't limited to the Rules Package application process. You can use the Element Browser to compare different versions of any element. With an element selected in the left pane, click the Related Actions button and select Compare to open the Compare Options page. Use this page to select the method you want to use to display a detailed comparison between two elements. Use the Effective Date Compare method to compare the selected Effective Dated version of an element to another Effective Dated version. Use the Element Compare method to compare the selected element to another element. Use the Remote Database Compare method to compare the selected element with the same element in a remote database. Note that Remote Database Access is available only for Oracle databases. In this example, we'll compare the current version of the NIFM cat lever element to an earlier version of it dated January 1, 1990. The Element Browser clearly displays all of the items that were deleted, changed, and added in the newer version of the element. This completes our discussion of the Global Payroll Core Element Browser feature. HCM Image 23 delivers global payroll country extension enhancements for Brazil, Mexico, and the United Kingdom. eSocial is a nationwide reporting system in Brazil. It streamlines the transmission of workers' HR and payroll-related information from companies doing business in Brazil to the government in a centralized framework. As of HCM Image 23, new periodic events have been added to the list of supported events in eSocial. They are responsible for reporting to the government, workers' earnings and deductions, as well as other payments by pay period and payment date, tax exemption information of companies, worker terminations with payment calculation, the reopening and closing of pay periods for eSocial reporting. In addition, new variable elements are also created to support the processing of these eSocial events. Applying this HCM Update 23 feature to your database initializes an application engine process that looks for all HCM records that have both country and state defined. For any record with a country of MEX and a state of DF, 
The process converts the state value from DF to CDMX. HMRC will be decommissioning the Electronic Data Interchange, or EDI, channel and replacing it with an existing XML service. Current EDI users will need to migrate to the XML channel by the start of fiscal year 2018-2019. PeopleSoft will leverage the existing XML reporting framework to manage the outgoing XML files. In this first deliverable, we are providing the ability to generate the RTI outbound files, FPS, EPS, and EYU in XML format. In a later image, we will also provide the ability to import inbound files such as P6 and P9. This completes our discussion of global payroll country extension enhancements for Brazil, Mexico, and the United Kingdom. The Activity Guide Composer makes it easier for a functional administrator to configure an Activity Guide template. An Activity Guide is a People Tools feature that allows you to define guided procedures for a user or group of users to complete. Users are presented with a list of actions or tasks that need to be completed to finish the procedure. Activity Guides have been used in Guided Self-Service and Fluid Candidate Gateway, but many more applications are possible. Other examples of where activity guides can be used include onboarding and offboarding, job change processes such as leaves of absence or promotions, or any place where a checklist may be used, such as for payroll or time and labor processes. The Activity Guide Composer assists users by separating the technical tasks related to setting up an activity guide from the functional tasks and providing a step-by-step -step process guide for the administrator. Technical configuration is managed by defining an Activity Guide category. All steps must be configured in the Activity Guide category, but once they are, the functional user can use some or all of the steps in their Activity Guide template. Steps can even be used more than once in an Activity Guide. For instance, having informational steps in multiple places within the Activity Guide. The Activity Guide Composer brings many benefits to your organization. It allows functional administrators to set up and manage their own templates with guided steps, easy to understand instructions, and clear examples. Guiding your users through processes using activity guides goes from being a good idea to becoming a reality. This completes our discussion of the Fluid Activity Guide Composer feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle support, and go to the PeopleSoft information portal for updates.